Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, hi, my name's Amanda. I'm actually a criminologist by training and education, but I like makeup and I like doing unboxings. And so I have this YouTube channel. Um, today we're doing another unboxing and I have a couple of other ideas coming up as well. But this is, I think, box four for the day. So usually I do a couple on Fridays and then I upload them during the week. And I've now talked for way too long and my puppies have just come in as well. So let's get started. So uh, this episode is on the Bella box. Now this is a $20 box in Australia. So uh, this comes out monthly uh, and it was actually the first uh, subscription box that we actually decided on. When I say we, it's my daughter and I, and my puppy is walking through. Okay. I didn't have food, so she's left. So let's have a look what's in the Bella box. So often when I open a box, I have no idea which month it is because I sometimes do them too late or too early or they sit and I forget about them and then I find them later when I'm packing up other stuff. Uh, but this time it's pretty easy to know which box it is. So this is the February box. So happy Valentine's to those that had Valentine's Day. It's about two weeks ago now. <laughs> but uh, we shall see what is in here. Uh, we don't have a total on this box, but it is approximately about... 50 or $60 worth. So let's have a look. I shall put my little list there because I used to forget and now I'm getting very good at it. So let's see what's in. Not very exciting. But anyway, so um, we have some items which are pretty much grocery items. So I'm um, not as exciting as usual, but we'll have a look nonetheless. Oh, this is interesting though. Here we go. Our first product is from Pantene. It's a foam conditioner, repair and protect. So 100 percent conditioning zero percent weight which basically means there's less product in but they uh, blow it up with butane gas yes butane so wash your hair with pantene shampoo shake well apply a palm size amount from the roots which is be quite an amount of that so we'll have a look so there is our product so a pantene repair and glow this is 170 mils on this i think 47 so 170 mils of this would be $10. So this is actually quite cheap for this size. So it'd be about three or $4, I guess. So that's something we'll try. Um, Pantene's coming out with a few different products lately. We got some dry shampoo from, I think even in, in this box a couple of months ago, um, which seems to work okay. It's not my favorite. I do prefer my other dry shampoo spray, which we all seem to have the same one. I'll, I like the yellow can. Don't ask me the brand, don't ask me the flavor, but that, that's what I like. So anyway, that's our first product. Let's see what else we have. So we have more sunblock. So this is about the eighth box that we've got with sunblock in it. Um, we have enough now, thanks guys. I don't go out in the sun anyway. You should always wear sunblock uh, under your moisturizer. Now, some people get an SPF in their moisturizer and I've been told that by having both of them in the same product that they aren't as effective in either way. So it's best to use two different products uh, and I guess you can put them together. So this is a banana boat. Banana boats going through a bit of a PR issue currently. People aren't as happy with them as they used to be. This is for face. This is SPF 50, um, which is using naturally sourced zinc, which I thought was 100% block out. But anyway, there's that to try too. I'm, we will probably go out of date before I use it because of the amount of time that I actually need some blocks. I'm inside and at work, I'm in an office with no windows. So our next product, um, this is actually the toothpaste I use regardless. So um, I have a lot of white glow. I like the Easter show in Sydney that we have that um, has show bags. And I often get the white glow show bag, uh, which has lots of different toothpaste in it. So this is a little one. It's actually black toothpaste. It has a very good fresh mint taste um, and it is black. It's just something different. My daughter's going through her black stage currently. So she likes using black toothpaste too. Um, the only problem is guys, mums especially, you know how your kids spit into the sink and you get the white toothpaste in your sink, in your bathroom sink? Now you get the black. So that's fun to clean up too. But anyway, I digress once more. Oh, our next product is by Maybelline. So this is Dream Urban Cover. This has got SPF 40. Like I just said to you, don't have a SPF in your products. This is full coverage, lightweight preventative makeup. It's in 115 Ivory. It looks quite dark for an ivory. Um, so that, whoops, almost dropped it and I didn't. So let's have a look. Let's do a little bit of a, a squiggle. Very orange. So, um, yeah, don't like that much. But 
Um, it says full coverage. Oh, you can still see some of my freckles, um, but nonetheless, it's it's okay. It's a bit oily, um, but for my skin, that would actually by the end end of the day be very shiny. I actually literally just powdered my face before I started this video because I was getting way too shiny. And I put on a different lipstick to my earlier videos in case you noticed. This is my favorite lipstick. Um, again, I digress because it's not about this box. Um, I was editing my videos from last week, uh, earlier this week, and I spotted that I had on a lipstick, which I absolutely loved, and I had on a black top. And um, I thought, oh my God, I love that lipstick. So I actually literally had to go and find what lipstick it was by going through. Um, I often pack a makeup bag for work for the week that's different because I pick my outfits for the week and all. I'm, I'm one of those. Um, and so I had to find my makeup bag for last week to see which lipstick it was. And it was this one. It is a MAC lipstick and it's called Deb Debonair, I think. Not Debonair, but Debonair. But anyway, it's very, very lovely and I absolutely love it. I thought it was too dark, but it's absolutely amazing. One more product to go. Ooh, so not everything was from the supermarket. Um, this is the drugstore. Um, so this is Marc Jacobs, this is Daisy. Um, my daughter actually has the entire collection of Daisy uh, perfumes. So I will actually get this. I am highly allergic to perfume. So when she decided to go and get some perfume, she literally, I had to go with her and smell all these perfumes for a day and, and succumb to the migraines just so that she could pick the ones that I could tell weren't go, going to set me off and Marc Jacobs is one that doesn't set me off. So I might actually put on some um, perfume myself. So this is the Daisy Love, which is the pink. Oh, I've got on hand, hand cream, which isn't helping. And, and this uh, foundation here is combining with it too. It's a very soft, um, it's very floral, surprisingly. Um, but it is quite lovely. So this is the oh so sweet in the Daisy Love. So there's the packet. There's the cute little thing. Please ignore my um, nail polish. It comes off on Friday nights. So and then I do it again on Sunday nights for the week. So very, very cute. I just realized now that I haven't given you any of the prices. So let's start with this. So this is a sample. Um, the samples are usually quite cheap. Uh, the It says now that the... Um, the EDT is approximately $110. I know in Australia, they're about $50 at Chemist Warehouse. So that's the only reason my daughter got them was because they weren't $110. Um, but absolutely, I do like the Daisy. I, I do like Marc Jacobs makeup, I must admit. So um, to buy that as the 50 ml, which is about that size bottle, is about $60. So let's see what else, the White Glow. Um, I know that's about $10 to buy as a bigger pack. The Maybelline is in a $24.95. Now, I think we actually got to pick, we got to pick our colour for this, but still, um, Ivory at 115, which is the um, the lightest they had, is still, I mean, it's not too bad once it's dried down and it's actually not as oily as it felt going on. But um, I don't know. It says full coverage, but I can see a freckle. So... <laughs> Anyway, and what else did we have? Oh, our, um, this was about $10 for the full size and the banana bow is $17 for its full size, which is that which is that size. So that is $17. So anyway, let's pack it into the box, make it look pretty and say our goodbyes. So that's our Bella box for February. So it was a good deal. It's um, a couple of repeats we've had. Uh, we've had some block in every single box for the last six months. So um, thanks guys, we have enough now. Um, and the toothpaste, yeah, I'm sick of getting toothpaste as well. I've had a few different brands and stuff. Uh, the perfume was lovely. I don't, don't mind a sample perfume. Um, and I will always say yes to a makeup product, even if it's not my color or something. I'd rather get something that would match other people and just still, uh, I want makeup. Um, but anyway, that's our beauty box for February from Bella. So thank you so much for watching this video. This is only a short one because it's only a small box. I have one more box to do for the day and then I get to go and do podcast stuff for my true crime stuff. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you for being along for the ride. I hope that you haven't bored yourself silly watching all these videos in one day. You can tell each day because I have just the same dress on. I used to change for each episode I would do. And then I realized that I'm a single mom who works very long hours and I just don't have the chance to do all that washing if I keep swapping between because you get hot and sweaty under these lights and everything. 
self-care is I'm not changing my shirt between videos but anyway don't forget you can't give to others if you haven't given to yourself don't forget your self-care Sundays and until next time bye